All right, hi guys, welcome to Lakeside Surf. Uh, my name's Dane, I'm one of the coaches here, and I'm gonna walk you through a quick surf school. Um, but a little bit about myself, I'm kind of a water bug. I do anything water-wise, diving, swimming, anything behind a boat. So right here at Lakeside is my favorite place to be in the summer, so I'm gonna walk you through some tips and tricks to get you successful out there in the wave so you can experience it here with me. First off, I wanna see, has anyone surfed here before at all? Awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah, so this is really closely related to river surfing. In fact, it's modeled after a river in Germany, right? Uh, so the biggest difference here between ocean surfing and river surfing is with the ocean, the water is kind of building behind you and pushing you towards the beach. Uh, with here, it's actually coming towards you and you're learning to work with the water. And in theory, if you can go the whole time, it's endless surfing. So behind me, I'll give you a quick fun facts about the wave. What you see is actually only about 10% of the actual wave, okay? Uh, the rest of the pool is under the deck and under the cement, and it's all run by 12 pumps. Those pumps are pumping 12,000 gallons per second right at you. Um, and it's actually making it the largest man-made wave in the entire world. So we're really excited to have you out there uh, and to take you along with this journey. All right, getting into some of the things about safety about this pool. First off, we're already in the surf school, so it means you've probably already gone through the waiver. In that waiver, it talks about the physical requirements here. So if you're concerned about that, talk to me afterwards. Uh, we can fill that out, and if not, we're just gonna get straight into surfing. When we start you here at Lakeside Surf, we're gonna start you on one of our boards that are foam, right? And what we re roughly recommend for here is a board length somewhere between your chin and your eyebrow length, right? Nothing has to be perfect. If it's a little bit lower than that, or a little above that, that's totally fine. So this one's about right for me. And again, I can have a preference later. After I'm done surfing for a little bit, I can set it back in the rack and try something new. So we'll go a little bit over the anatomy of the board. Right here is the nose, and this will be the tail of the board, okay? As you notice, towards the tail of the board, you're gonna have your fin boxes on top, as well as the fin boxes on the bottom side. Uh, with the boards, when you're surfing them, they will have fins coming out of them. You're gonna have a leash coming out of the back of your board. It's gonna be coming out the back right here. All you wanna do is put that leash under your back foot, okay? It's gonna have a tail coming off of it. Aim that tail out towards the back side of the wave, not towards your other leg. That way you don't get tangled up in it when you're surfing. When we wanna take care of the boards, we want it to be just as good for you as the next person. So we wanna make sure we're not leaning on them like so, okay? If we lean on them, it's gonna ruin the tail and make it a lot harder to surf right here. Uh, another thing that will do this damage to the tail is just dragging our boards around, so we don't wanna be doing that. When it comes to taking care of them, just keep them under your arm, like so, or you can pick them up and lay them down from place to place when you're going. So now we're gonna start into the surf basics. Uh, where we're gonna start is your stance on that board, okay? Uh, there's one of two ways you can stand on a board, and whether that's goofy or regular. All that means is whether your right foot dominant and your right foot is forward, or your left foot dominant and your left foot is forward. So if you have any questions on it, please come to me. I'm gonna give you a little push test and we'll get that figured out. Me particularly, I'm goofy. What? <laughs> you did something. Okay, so what that means is my right foot is forward and my left foot is back. Where I'm gonna place my left foot on the board is right over the fin boxes and all of our boards will have these little black dots right here on it. That will be the fin boxes. So put your left foot, for me specifically, on those. Uh, and your right foot, your forward foot, for me, uh, will be about shoulder width apart. And with any physical activity, you're gonna wanna have a little athletic stance. So bend your knees. Um, and just like the cartoons you see it, you're gonna want your hands out just like this for a little bit of balance. All right, we're gonna get into a little bit surf instruction. And the best way to do that is to start off with the wave anatomy. So if you look behind me, there's only gonna be two entry points on the whole wave, right? On each side of the wave, the crest, that's gonna be the only two entry points in the whole pool. With the two entry points, there's only gonna be one exit point, and that'll be the back side of the pool. I like to call it the beach because that's where you're gonna end up getting washed out. How you know what line you'll be in will be determined by your goofy or regular foot, right? Your right foot forward or your left foot forward. If you are right foot forward, you're goofy and you'll be on this side of the pool over here to my right, okay? If you are regular with your left foot forward, you're gonna be over here to my left on this left side of the pool. Once you get to your perspective side of the wave, you're gonna lay your board down or your coach will help you with that. They're gonna lay the board down, okay? You'll be sitting on that wall over there and all you're gonna do is put your feet on the board like we talked about with your back foot over the fin boxes and your front foot about shoulder width apart towards the middle of that board, okay? You'll be sitting on the ledge and as soon as you have pressure on the board, it's not gonna try to get away from you. What you're gonna do is this is gonna be a trickier part where your coach is gonna help you. You're gonna take your hands and you're shuffling down the wall all the way down nice and slow. This isn't a speedy process, just nice and slow all the way down to that saddle of the wave. Once you get there, we're kind of back into what we talked about, your stance, right? You wanna have an athletic stance with your knees bent like so and your hands out just like a cartoon character you see surfing on cartoons. One thing I want you guys to really keep in mind is that the board is there for the weight and the wall is there for your balance. If you're coming into the wave and you're walking down that wall but you have all your weight in your arms and you're pushing up on it, it's gonna be a lot harder and a lot more unstable on your board than if you stand on your board and just use it for a little bit of balance. The next step, 
we'll be starting to learn to turn, okay? The very, very bare bone basics of this is all it is is just leaning where you'd like to go, okay? So for example, if I'm trying to lean and go this way, my front side, all I'm doing is in my athletic stance, my hands up, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on my toes, okay? Not a ton, nothing you do on the water is gonna have a big, big uh, movement, it's just nice and small ones, okay? So lean on your toes slightly, and then vice versa, if I wanna go my backside, my blind side, I'm gonna lean on my heels, okay? So I'm here and I'm leaning slowly on my heels. What this is gonna look like when you're on the wave is more of a drifting back and forth, less of a carve, but this is where you're gonna start with just your learning. Once you feel comfortable with that, you're gonna move on and start carving and turning a lot harder. So what that looks like is so again, if I'm gonna turn on my, my front side, all I'm doing is still leaning on those toes and now I'm taking my hip and my shoulder as a single unit and aiming at where I'd like to go and vice versa with my backside. If I wanna go backwards, I'm gonna go on my heels, open that hip, open that shoulder, back to that wall I'd like to go to. And just like riding a bike or anything else you're riding, you wanna look where you wanna go. And you're gonna fall, it's gonna happen, that's part of surfing, uh, and it's not a bad thing to happen. And talking about falling, I wanna make sure we're all comfortable with it, right? All the experts and the beginners, everyone's gonna fall eventually. So if we're looking at our boards, it is a soft board, the ones that we're gonna have you guys use. So it really doesn't hurt anywhere on your body except for maybe your nose and your lips. So the biggest thing we wanna protect is those parts. And when you go down, all you're gonna do is cover your face, okay? So all it is is here is this way, if the board hits you, it hits you in the arms and not your face. Once you feel yourself in the water completely, you're just gonna open up as wide as you can. We like to say like a starfish or something nice, nice and big. It is a river wave, right? So anything that starts upstream is gonna end up downstream. Once in a while, you might experience a delay in the back of the wave, which is totally fine. All you're gonna do is, again, make yourself big. If you're still feeling a delay in the wave, I wanna make sure you're kind of moving around, kind of getting catching that water and pulling yourself all the way out to the back. The coaches are here to watch and make sure you're safe. So if they see you having a little bit longer of a delay in the back of the wave, we do have some emergency stop buttons that we will hit and it turns the wave off almost instantly. And guys, I wanna make sure you guys keep this in mind. Just like any sport or any physical activity, it is a learning process, right? You're not gonna pick anything up and just be the best at it right in the world. So what we're gonna expect out of your first session if you've never surfed before is really you're kinda getting comfortable feeling that wave under your body. Uh, and kind of working on your drifts and maybe the intro into carving, right? It's a natural progression. And it's, it's not an easy thing to do, right? Surfing, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. So if you wanna try a different board or you wanna have fun with a boogie board or something else, we also have those available. What I'm gonna talk about now is a couple things that's gonna increase the experience and the smoothness of our transitions in our surfing. One of these things is a turn. And roughly what we want our turns to be about is 30 seconds long. 30 seconds on that wave, feels like a really long time. Another reason we have this 30 second kind of guideline is it gets you a lot more repetitions, right? We see a lot of progression through trying something new. And if you're kind of worried about falling, so you're just kind of trying to stand there and play it safe, you're gonna progress a lot slower. So what we wanna do is again, 30 seconds of going back and forth, trying something new and not being afraid to fall. And your coach is there, they're watching the whole time. So that means they have a lot more coaching opportunities to help you get to that next step. When it comes to dismounting your board or ending your turn after your 30 seconds, there's a couple really, really easy ways to do it, right? It is a wave and like we talked about, there is a current pulling you from the front all the way to the back. So a couple ways, easy ways to do it is just kind of let the current kind of push on those brakes on your back foot and you'll feel yourself getting sucked over the back and right in back in line. Another safe way you can get off the board is just kind of carving and turning over the back side of the wave. A couple ways we want to make sure we're not doing is just kind of a pencil dive or jumping with our wrist straight out in front of us. It's a lot easier and quicker to use one of the other two safer methods. A few other things I want to mention real quick is we will have some other equipment with us, right? One of these things will be our bracelet. A couple reasons for this is one, we can see exactly who's in your session. We don't want anyone from a different session still in yours or you in the wrong session serving at the wrong time. Another piece of equipment we have for you as well will be a helmet. We require these for certain ages. You don't have to have them if you're above that age. It is up to you though. We have helmets for everyone if they would like them. If you would like a helmet, please ask me or your other coaches and we'll get you one of those helmets real quick and get it fitted to your head. All the sessions we have here at Lakeside Surf are a 45 minute session, right? And that means right at that 45 time, let's say you start at 10 o'clock, right at 10 o'clock, you should be ready to go and have your board. Uh, that also means when you're done at 10 45, you're gonna have to hop out of line, let the board go to the next person or put it back in the board racks. That way the person behind you gets just as full of a turn as you did. If you had a great experience today or had a great experience with your coach, there are a few ways to give feedback to them. One is super, super simple. You can just go up to their face and tell them straight up. We love, love to hear your feedback. Another avenue to show us what you thought about today is there's placards on the wall, right? You can get to know your coach. You can read a few interesting facts about us. There's also a little QR code. It's never expected, but there is an avenue where you can leave us a tip. And the last way to do this is a survey. We have lots of little survey cards around. These do get read and it helps us so your experience next time can be better. Uh, and it is a great way for you to be rewarded as well. If you do a survey and you fill it all the way out and leave your name, 
uh, you can end up winning a free surf session here at Lakeside Surf. So whether you have a really positive thing to say about your coach or the wave or the way things ran, as well as if you think there's something we could improve, please say it there. There's lots of room for comments. We want to make sure it's the best experience for you and the next customer. So please let us know what you guys have to say about your experience today.